Well, tonight a family is looking for justice after their loved ones were killed in a fiery crash last weekend. The family believes that two of their family members were taken away way too soon due to another person's reckless driving. WDHN's Robert Smith Jr. joins us now live in the newsroom with more. Robert? Hey, Mike and Amanda. The family of Derek Blessing and Audrey Jenkins is not only having a hard time processing their deaths, but family members are worried since there have not been arrests so far that this could happen again to another family. The family of Audrey Jenkins and Derek Blessing lives 11 hours away from Dothan in West Virginia. It's been a difficult week for the family after learning that their loved ones were killed in a car crash. The accident happened Saturday night and we weren't notified until Sunday um, afternoon. Um, you know, in shock disbelief. The crash happened on Ross Clark Circle near Hartford Highway. Leonard says her baby brother and aunt were going to the gym to work out at Planet Fitness. Which is something that my brother did religiously every night before bed. He went to the gym. They never made it to the gym after a three vehicle wreck. Dothan police say a car was traveling on Ross Clark Circle, hit another car, and that car hit the Hyundai Elantra, driven by Blessing and Jenkins. Their car was pushed off the road, rode into a ditch, and burst into flames. The family has heard the person they believe is responsible for causing the crash was traveling at an excessive speed. It was senseless act of someone that took my son and my sister they didn't have, they didn't deserve to die like that. The biggest issue that we're struggling with right now is the fact that knowing that they've not been arrested and knowing that there's no charges yet. The family says they lost two beautiful souls in Blessing and Jenkins, two people who would do anything for others. They love to cook. They were passionate sports fans who love to visit and spend time with family. They're described as two peas in a pod. They moved from West Virginia to Florida years ago and recently to Dothan where they purchased a new house six months ago. They worked so hard and they had new furniture, like everything, they, their life was good. They finally got to enjoy what they worked for and someone took it from yeah, them. Yeah, and then it was just taken from them. Now this crash is still under investigation. Derek's mother says she plans to push for a law in memory of her son and sister that if a loved one is killed in a wreck due to someone driving recklessly, the victim's family will be paid an amount of money on the anniversary day. Amanda. All right, Robert, thank you.